Hey man, what's up? Hey bro, I'm just chilling here. So, I see that your alpha channel is still at 50%. Yeah, I'm still a ghost cause I died. That's cool man. You know, I almost died once. Oh, you almost died? That's a cool story. Yeah man, I was just crossing the street and this car drove by me really fast and I felt the breeze on my face. I was like, holy shit, this car's gonna fucking kill me and shit. And my whole life flashed before my eyes. Wow. Yeah man, my whole life flashed before me. Even the time when I was a kid and I watched The Little Mermaid and I was like, fuck these titty shells, you know? Okay. Yeah man, it's like kids really do say the darndest fucking things. Hey, uh, what's up with that hole? What hole? The hole right there. Oh, that's just the mail hole. The mail hole? Yeah, haven't you noticed how lately we haven't been receiving our mail? No. Well, the reason why is because it turns out that the mailman, the only time he delivers mail is in the dead of night when we are both asleep. So, when he delivers it, he chooses to dig a hole and bury the mail on the ground. Why does he do that? Well, he says it's for security reasons, but I think he's just doing it to be a dick face. Oh. Hey man, I think we got some new mail. Maybe I should read this shit right now. Go ahead, I don't give a fudge. Okay, we got this letter right here from some motherfucker. It says, uh... Dear Igloo Sirs, recently you talked about your disgust with the inclusion of titty shells in The Little Mermaid, and I couldn't agree more with your opinion. I just got back from watching X-Men First Class, and I was enjoying the movie right up until the point where the character Mystique took her shirt off, revealing her blue titties. At that point, I was thoroughly disappointed in the movie because they were too lazy to even put titty shells on her. They just fucking showed her without any nipples or anything. That is some bullshit. Am I right, bro? Let me know what you think. Peace and love, Ajax. Okay, thanks for this fucking letter. Uh, you know, the thing about Mystique is like she's a mutant, so maybe her lack of nipple is like part of her mutation. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really an expert on comics, so maybe they're being true to the source material in that movie. But, uh, you know what, man? I happen to have the phone number of an X-Men expert. So, I'm gonna call this motherfucker up right now. Come on, answer the fucking phone. Hello? Oh, uh, hi. Is this Stan the Man Lee? Why, yes it is. Oh, shit, man. I can't believe I'm talking to Stan Lee. I mean, I can tell it's really you because I recognize your very distinct voice. Yes, it's really me. Okay, man. I'm just calling because I want to ask you something about uh, the X-Men. Okay, fire away, true believer. Okay, um, when you created the characters back in 1863, did you intend for the character Mystique to have nipples or not? Oh, you're opening up an old wound there. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You see, I originally intended for Mystique to have the biggest, bluest nipples you'd ever seen. Oh, really? With the hugest areolas. It would have been amazing. But the Marvel Comics president wouldn't allow it. Oh shit, man. That's too bad. Yeah, they were always trying to take the nipples out of my comic books from day one. You think I wanted Spider-Man to fire web fluid out of his wrists? That doesn't even make sense. He should be firing out of all eight of his spider titties. Oh yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, but they said that the kids wouldn't be able to relate to that. And I guess they were kind of right. Yeah, man, it's like, uh, people like the disc, the guy who directed Batman and Robin, You mean but... Joel Schumacher? Yeah, that's right, Joel Schumacher. Yeah, uh, people like the shit on that movie because it's a piece of shit, but you know what? At least he got the costumes right. Oh, yes. I got much love for the Shoe Master. Uh, the Shoe Master? Yeah, Joel Schumacher's a good friend of mine. I call him the Shoe Master. Okay, that's cool. We both understand the importance of nipples in superhero comics. Uh, hey man, what'd you think of the new movie, X-Men First Class? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. How was it? Well, you know, aside from the whole Mystique having no nipple thing... Yeah, I think it was pretty cool. Well, that's good to hear. 
Uh, tell me, how was my traditional cameo appearance in the movie? Uh, you know what, man? I didn't even see you in there. I think maybe your scene might have got cut. What the fuck? Whoa, man. Stan Lee just hung up on me. I guess he didn't like being cut out of that movie. Was that really Stan Lee? Of course it was. Couldn't you tell by his voice? Okay. Anyway, I guess that answers uh, this letter. So that's it for the Igloo Mail Hole segment this week. What? Yes, yeah, so if you want to send any more questions or comments about stuff like cartoon nipples and shit, uh, you just gotta send it to nipplelover69 at igloomailhole.org slash myspace.net and, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll dig a hole in the ground and pick up the mail. Or maybe I won't. I don't fucking know. Hey, I'm still here. Oh, shit.